Hey everyone. Hey, so I thought this was a really good topic to cover. Diet and how it affects your supply. What's one of the biggest things that moms want back when we have our babies? Our bodies. How much weight did you guys gain? I gained 65 pounds with my first and lost 50 of it in the first six weeks. As soon as I stopped breastfeeding, guess who stopped losing weight? Yep. And then with my son, I gained 40 pounds and I lost 60. So I think I learned a thing or two after um, my first endeavor. Uh, as mentioned in previous videos, um, I only made it six weeks with my first and I stressed myself out and I stopped breastfeeding. Um, and I did a lot of things wrong. Like I didn't focus on supply and demand. I figured I got a bottle in the, in the fridge. Why do I got a, why do I got a pump? Well, that screwed up my supply. So anywho, Something that I changed during my second pregnancy and second breastfeeding journey was my water intake. So while I was pregnant with my son, I made sure to drink 100 ounces a day of water. Water. 100 ounces of water. That didn't include my one cup of coffee that I allowed myself to have a day and um, didn't include um, like if I drank um, pomegranate juice because that helped keep me regular. <laughs> Because, uh, you know, baby moves around and bunches stuff up. So, anywho, uh, pomegranate juice really helped me uh, keep me regular. And um, I guess now it's become part, part of my daily uh, routine. If I remember to buy it, um, coffee helps that too. But, anywho, so I kept up with the 100 ounces of water a day after my son was born as well. And I really believe that that was a huge factor in... Um, and having an oversupply. Um, as mentioned in previous videos, I produced 60 to 65 ounces a day. That's huge. That's not normal for most women, and I'm not saying that drinking 100 ounces is the reason that I had an oversupply, um, but I am saying that if I didn't drink 100 ounces a day of water, I noticed. I noticed if I dropped below 80 ounces a day, um, my supply showed. Um, so, that's definitely something to consider. Something else to consider is how many calories you're burning by either nursing or pumping. Seriously, you're feeding yourself and the baby. Um, and your milk or your nutrients goes to your milk first and then yourself. Um, so in order to keep yourself and your baby taken care of, you got to make sure you're keeping up your calories, right? Uh, for me personally, I didn't, I didn't count calories. Um, if I was hungry, I ate. Uh, I had a snack with every pump. And when I say snack, I'm talking like a handful of nuts or um, some fruit or a granola bar or a piece of chocolate. <laughs> um, I had something every time I pumped, including a glass of water every time I pumped because I swear after I pumped or nursed, I felt like I'd ran a dang marathon, like so parched, mouth would immediately get dry. It was insane. Um, so I truly believe, and I've heard, um, don't diet, don't diet, don't do it. Do not diet. Um, because myself, I did that during my first, I watched, um, you know, like what I was eating with my first, um, cause that's like, oh, I'm going to get back down to my weight. It's like, and I was eating smaller meals like I was pre-pregnancy and I don't think it helped me out. Um, with my son though, with my second pregnancy, or I should say my second breastfeeding journey, I was eating meals like my husband was eating meals, like larger sizes. And I lost all of his weight plus what was extra for my daughter, um, that I had hanging on still. So that was really cool. Um, and I had heard from other people that had, you know, their first time around being a mom, they they were like really strict with their diet and watched how many calories they're eating, cut out carbs, stuff like that. And they all said their supply was poo. Um, and then they all said um, next go around they didn't they didn't watch it. 
Um, and I've also heard doctors say things like, go eat a Big Mac. Like you need that kind of calorie intake and that kind of junk sometimes to help your supply. And honestly, I found that to be very true. Other things to consider is that with every child you have, the more milk ducks you get. Hey, Kim. Um, which I thought that was really interesting. So the more children you have, the more your milk ducks grow. Not only are they pre-stretched from the first baby, but now they're getting stretched some more. So it's giving you more room to allow for milk to um, be produced, okay? And to be stored, which how cool is that? Your milk ducks can go all the way over into, the, into your armpit, all the way up in here, okay? So that's a big span, all right? Um, for me, I definitely, I mean, there's times that I would have my, my chest would be all the way up into my, into my, um, collarbones there because that, that's just how I was. Also, something else that I learned was that, um, not only is diet and, uh, your water intake going to play a role in your milk supply, um, but also the gender of your child. Yeah. Did you know that? Um, apparently when you have a little boy, your milk supply is in greater abundance. Um, which I mean, that makes sense. Little boys eat a lot. Supply and demand, the more they eat, the more there is a, a demand, right? So greater supply. And it's like, oh, wow. Well, yeah, that makes sense. Um, so anyways, to sum up, um, some things you can play a role in and some things you can't. So um, keep your water up and um, really just don't pay attention to the diet. You need the carbs. You need the vitamins. You need the vegetables and the fruits and the protein. You, you need it all. You you absolutely positively need it all. Um, so don't cut anything out. If you're hungry, eat. Um, you need it. Okay, you're working out. And if you work out on top of breastfeeding, so you go for a run or a bike ride or cardio, whatever, think of how many calories you're burning. You're producing all that milk and you're doing that holy shnikes, man. I know I personally didn't have the energy for that. So good for you. Um, but seriously, think of how many calories you're burning. So don't worry about dieting. Just don't do it. Uh, <laughs> Just have a small snack each time you, you pump or nurse, and that should take the edge off. Have a glass of water that'll help replenish, um, you know, your, uh, from getting, or replenish you and keep you from getting dehydrated. And um, some things, it's just, uh, just the way the cookie crumbles, as they say, um, you know, the gender of your baby. Supply and demand is huge. So keep the demand up and the supply will follow. All right, ladies. All right, you guys have a good one. Bye-bye.